All right, everybody, we're going to take a deep dive today into Neurology 101. I want to make this pretty simple, uh, but also enough information that you can leave here thinking, man, uh, you know, I really should do something about that because it's that important. If you watched the last video, we talked a little bit about symptomatic care versus true health and wellness care as far as in our office, but just in your everyday life as well. Eating healthy on a consistent basis, getting enough sleep on a consistent basis, getting enough exercise on a consistent basis. So the theme in some of these emails has been frequency. What are some of the easy, short, simple things you can do with high frequency, such as stretching, exercising, and all the things I just listed in order to get yourself to the next level as far as how you feel, how you function, and just the quality of life that you have. Now, neurology is underlying a lot of those things. How we feel, we talked about reaching a threshold. When we reach a threshold of some sort of input that's coming in, that's causing uh, our system to go haywire, we have a symptom start. So that is literally probably the worst way you can actually know how you're doing is by what symptoms you have. As most of you have experienced yourselves or know other people who have had any sort of disease processes, conditions, um, COVID even fits into this, into this is a lot of people are asymptomatic until either A, it gets extreme and it's a later stage of something, or in our world, in the musculoskeletal nervous system world, um, you know, you wake up one morning and your hand's numb or you have a kink in your neck. And a lot of times those are accumulation of stressors over a long period of time that finally reach that threshold and why you call someone like myself. So real briefly, we're gonna cover the three types of stress again. In our world, an easy way to remember it is the three T's, okay? So that is gonna be trauma, okay? Trauma, that's gonna be like your physical trauma is mostly what we're talking about there. So that can be uh, a slip, a fall, an injury. It can also just be poor posture at a desk all day it can result in traumas uh, on a micro level that add up over time. Okay, number two are gonna be thoughts. That's an easy way to say for the three T's. Now thoughts encompass basically your emotional or psychological well-being. So the stressors in life, emotionally, psychologically, okay? Family stress, work stress, always being busy, always being on the go in this American lifestyle. That's so many of us. That accumulates a ton of stress in that level. So there's number two. Number three is one that maybe not a lot of people think about or pay attention to, and that's what we call toxins. Now, in that toxins category, we're talking about chemical toxicity, um, which affects every part of our body, our neurology, our musculoskeletal system, etc. In that could be nutrition, what you're putting in your body, what chemicals, what, what you're fueling your body with, the chemicals in our food, so pesticides, herbicides, all of those things. Um, why organic can be really important for a lot of people, why less processed and packaged things can be important because all of those chemicals do accumulate. Your liver, your kidneys have to detoxify and constantly are at work getting rid of all that stuff out of your body. High sugar diets is another thing. High caffeine diets, things like that could fit into this. Now, another couple things that fit into this category that maybe you wouldn't think of um, are chemical toxins that we put on our body. Our skin is the largest organ in our body, so anything you put on your skin pretty much is directly absorbed into your bloodstream. So again, your body has to detoxify from that. Okay, so think about the most latest, the latest thing in the headlines um, is the sunscreen ordeal. So you put sunscreen on your skin, it soaks in your skin, it goes into the bloodstream, and guess what? Some of these sunscreen companies have now come out and said, well, there's cancer causing uh, chemicals in our sunscreens to a too high of a level, so, they pulled them off the shelves, okay? Here's just one example of the things such as lotions, sunscreens, makeup, deodorants, the things that we put on our body, just be aware of because that will accumulate stress in the body. Now, let me get rid of that and just remember those three T's, all of the stresses that accumulate. All right, we're gonna take an analogy here. Everybody he listening, probably does drive or has driven a car so you know it has this rpm dial 
how many revolutions per minute is that engine roaring? So over here, the more you push that gas pedal, the more you're revving, right? So this is the gas pedal going this direction, okay? Over here, less RPMs, we have the brake system, right? So we push the brakes, we slow down, we get the system um, back under control as far as your car goes. So the body works in a very similar way. We're gonna talk about the nervous system in two, the two branches of what's called the autonomic nervous system are called the sympathetic, okay? I'm gonna write that over here so you can reference that. Sorry about my handwriting. Everybody who knows me knows that it's not the best. The sympathetic system over here. Nope, sorry, whoops. Scratch that, I don't know, I got ahead of myself. We're going parasympathetic. So I meant to put para, and I'll just, for time's sake, I won't write sympathetic, but parasympathetic system. And over here is the sympathetic, okay? So what in the heck do these two systems, what do they mean? You've probably heard of them before, just in a different way. The parasympathetics are also known as the rest and digest system. So they kind of take your body, you start hitting the brake pedal, you lay down at night, everything relaxes, you're, you start to digest your food that you've consumed that day at a, a more efficient level. And that's really, really an important state of well being is you have to have activation of your parasympathetic system. Now over here, the sympathetics are also known as the fight or flight part of our autonomic nervous system. So it's a primal part of our nervous system that we need to have. So for example, I use this analogy a lot. Someone's gonna laugh at this because they've heard it in my office is if you're being chased by a bear down the road, you have to be able to activate this in order to get away. You're gonna have increased adrenaline released here. Another stress hormone called cortisol is gonna skyrocket and your, your body is gonna be in that heightened awareness, that heightened mode of sensitivity. You're gonna be aware of everything around you. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Now, here's the problem or here's the issue. So these two systems, the most important thing is we have balance between them, right? A perfect balance, a perfect harmony. Your body and your nervous system know when you need to be in this state. You know when you need to be in this state and there's a constant flux between the two. That is when we're working uh, optimally and we have good health and wellness, okay? Now, the problem in our culture, sadly, is so many of us, and just think about this for yourself or maybe someone in your family, your kids, your spouse, your mom, dad, whoever it is, so many of us have this gas pedal hit all day, every day, that we literally have this shift into this sympathetic mode almost constantly. And we never get back over here, maybe unless we crash at night and we get a few good hours of sleep, right? So your body is maintaining this sympathetic fight or flight, high cortisol, high adrenaline situation almost all the time. So the real life examples, I struggle with this. I'm a perfect example of this. I get up early. I probably don't get enough sleep. I get up early. I get my coffee. I do a little reading, try to relax, but then I'm on the go. It's like all day, every day. I'm either at work helping people. I'm with kids. I'm making dinners, I'm going to and fro, and it's just kind of the way I've been wired is I'm always on the go, I always want to stay busy, I'm probably a little bit of a high stress person, so I really have to consciously be aware of this and get myself back over here, okay? The consequences of this are more than you might think. So one, I'm gonna write down a few things over here that happen when you're constantly in sympathetic mode. One of those is you're gonna have, and this is science, all right? I know that's kind of the buzzword uh, over the last year is let's follow the science, and, and I agree, science is awesome, and technology is awesome. And a lot of these things I'm writing on here, all these things, it's science, okay? So this is, this is what we know. Sympathetic overload basically de decreases your immunity. Sorry, handwriting, see? Okay, so if you're over here, 
your immune system is not functioning optimally. Okay. The number uh, second thing that kind of goes with that is you're going to have a decrease in your gut function. Okay. So that's going to come with the next one, which is a decrease vagal nerve input. The vagus nerve starts up here, comes down and innervates part of our heart, lungs, and gut. So if you have a decreased vagal nerve, you're going to have decreased gut function, which ties directly into immunity and your immune system lives so much in your gut. So these things all accumulated amongst other hormonal and biochemical changes are basically going to lead to an increase If you can't see that, it says increase in susceptibility. Susceptibility to what? Well, again, you can go right to this and say, okay, it, do you get sick often? Do you get sick and you just can't kick it for days on end? Your immune system's not working. Do you have gut issues that are chronic? Uh, irritable bowel syndrome and gas and bloating and uh, constipation, diarrhea, those kind of things, you can't express that well. You're probably living over in this world. And then obviously an increased susceptibility to also um, physical, like how your physical body feels. If you constantly are tense, constantly are having headaches, constantly fighting a backache or whatever it is, you're probably living your life over here too much, too often. And we need to interrupt that cycle. All right, so for time's sake, what we could draw right down here on the parasympathetic side is essentially the opposite of this. The parasympathetics increase your immune system response. They increase your gut activity and your expression. Okay, they increase, it increases the vagal nerve tone, which is really vital into functioning properly. And overall, this system uh, is a natural anti-inflammatory effect. So take all of those things, apply them to your life. What are you struggling with right now? Is it the physical traumas? Is it the emotional traumas and stress? Is it the chemical? And quite honestly, most of us have a little bit or a lot of it of all of those. And over time, it's really gonna just kind of knock your body for a loop. Now, I'm gonna go into this in a future video. But the phrase that I love, that I heard from, I think, Dr. Josh Axe or Dr. Dan Sullivan or one of those guys that's a mentor of mine is technology is the language of today. So how do we know if this is going on? I can't really just palpate your spine and feel tightness and we all have knots and things and I need to adjust that vertebrae. You can't just palpate or watch someone move and know what's going on deeper down underneath the surface, okay? So that's where technology comes into play. We're gonna start in implementing at, at my clinic with every patient when the transition of uh, Thrive moving in, um, scanning technology that I'm super excited about, okay? Every one of you is gonna have the chance to have this done and it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna, it's gonna be really cool for you to see. What we do is we do a series of scans, including a, uh, an electromyography, EMG, a thermal scan, but also the probably the one that I think is the coolest is heart rate variability, interpreting that and then applying that to your neurology. If you just Google heart rate variability, you're gonna see how it directly relates to this, all right? So finally, to wrap this long video up, I hope you made it through. Um, but to wrap this up is like, well, what in the heck does chiropractic or what, what in the heck does what you do have anything to do with this? Everything, everything. Now there's obviously a lot of things that, that directly affect this. Like I said earlier, sleep, nutrition, you know, how many medications you're on, what kind of other chemicals are happening. All of those things do accumulate or help uh, go one way or the other. But what chiropractic has been shown to do is when you adjust the spine, specifically in the upper cervical and down in the low back sacrum pelvis area, you stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system and the vagus nerve, or can do that anyway. So if we constantly stimulate this, we're gonna take this gas pedal and move it right down, okay? Now, like I said in the last video, a lot of times that's about frequency. How often are we giving you this input? OK, 
okay? It needs to be frequent, and there's just no other way about it. So this is where uh, care planning and uh, giving you good objective data that you can see that shows you where you're at, we know how long it's usually, how long it's gonna take to get you where you need to go, okay? And what we're gonna do that's quite different than what you've known Synergy as is we still accept health insurance and all that jazz, um, but we're gonna make care much, much, much more affordable. Care for this, care for you being well and healthy, and it's gonna be um, affordable even if you have to have a heightened frequency so coming in more visits um, which is just a reality of what most of us need so I hope this caught your ear and caught your eye if you have any questions shoot me a DM shoot me an email Scott at SynergyLincoln.com uh, don't hesitate to call the office here and I would be happy to talk to you about this set up a consultation this is important stuff if you can't see I'm pretty passionate about this um, because I know it works. I know what we're here for. It's our calling is to help you be healthier and well. All right. And um, I'm excited to make this pivot in my practice um, just for the better to help all of you guys. All right. So please give us a call. Shoot me an email. Stay tuned for future videos because they're going to kind of follow up with this into some deeper dives um, on some other things. So have a great day. Be well.